Well, my timing's a little off. Good evening. My name's Robert, and uh, I try things. <sighs> I just learned a thing. So there's a line, like, just five seconds ago learned a thing. And I'm probably just really behind the times on this. There's a line in a song by uh, Blackberry, and if you don't know who that is, he's a rapper. A um, friend of ours turned us on to him several years ago, and we mostly enjoy his sound. Um, there's a line in his song, Hot Girl Bummer, that says, throw up in your Birkin bag, then hook up with someone random. I thought that was like a, a abbreviation, a shortening. Hello, Spootsoup. Hello, Spootsoup. It's slow enough for you to be on phone. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, you're at work at 7 p.m.? You're in the same time zone as me, right? And, and even if you weren't, you'd be in Eastern time, which would be 8 p.m. Why are you at work? You work until 9.15. I forgot what your job is then. Hold on, hold on. I know you told me and you have a late shift today. I thought it was like a regular hours, like day job. Your museum staff, museum. Wait, 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 is it like an art museum? Is that, do I remember that? Why am I drawing a complete blank on what Splats Up's job is? I know you told me. I know the insurance sales wasn't working, and then you were really excited about this job. Oh, well. Well, I'm glad we get to say hi. Hi, Spootsoup. I will do your command for you. There it is. Has you really been far, even as to Back up the booty. I need the booty. Look more like? Hi, Butt Spot. I wish there was a way to disable Butt Spot regarding that. Your eyes get swapped every around every week, but you never work earlier than 9.30 and no later than 10.15. That's not too bad. You work at an illusion museum. Illusion museum. That, that is not bringing any memories. Why? Or maybe it's a very faint bell that it's ringing. I don't know. But anyway, hi, Splats app. I'm glad that you're having a good Sunday and that it's slow enough that you can be on your phone and hang out with me streaming. Um, how has your weekend been otherwise? And what do you do at your job? That's probably been explained a dozen times already in your... My camera just went to sleep. In your Discord, I just don't really go in Discord much. Anyway, so you see this. You see this. That is this. That's what we're going to be building. You'll no longer have a consistent stream schedule, but you'll still aim to stream two times a week at least. Yes. Okay, this is um, a birthday gift. So... Months ago, uh, you, I think, raided to Stardust Cindy, I believe. I'm pretty sure she was the one who was working on this kit. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I want that. I've got to have it. This is the only thing I want for my birthday. And guess what? Paige got it for me for my birthday. So we're going to be working on this today. I asked Paige earlier, you know, I've got options for what I could do for stream. I could build this. I could replace the come here, L button on my Joy-Con uh, because it stopped working. I could do cross stitch. I could spin the wheel and play a game out of my backlog. And she said, no, go build your, your birthday thing. I'm like, yeah, OK, you twisted my arm. I'll, I'll do that. Um, so yeah, it should be fun. I've got my camera set up. You can see it, you know, right here in this. Um, now, what I did realize is that, let me turn this back on and show you. This is not the best angle for showing you guys when I'm doing something on the desk. So I went ahead and to explain the job, very touristy, you're there to help take pictures of people interacting with the exhibits and to answer any questions people might have. So it's an interactive museum. I appreciate that. Is, is sub-only chat actually on or is my dashboard lying to me? Okay, it was lying to me. I refreshed it. Okay. Do you have a favorite exhibit that's on right now? Um, where was I? Anyway, so I went ahead and got this thing. So it'll help me shoot from above. Other than that, you're just there to clean the mirrors because they young people touch those things all the time. <laughs> Yeah, I got an overhead arm. Should be fine. Yeah. 
So that's what we're going to be building tonight. People coming. Okay. Interact with the peoples. Be your charming, energetic self. Spootoop is so charming. I love Splatsap's charmingness. I love Splatsap. Splatonically. Eric! What's up, my guy? Happy Sunday. How is Florida treating you? What's the weather like in Florida? Let's see. Currently 74. That's really low for Florida. It's in the 90s all week. And lots of rain. Because it's Florida. Rubinski! Oh boy, it's hurricane. That's right, it is hurricane season. It's August. Hurricane season started a few weeks ago. Well, it started almost a month ago. Jeez. Okay, so Storm Idalia. It is... Oh yeah, it's headed straight towards... Florida. It's passing between Yucatan and Cuba. Interesting. I didn't realize that Yucatan and Cuba were so close. Buying water and gas. That's not a bad idea, but don't panic too much. Depending on the strength of the storm. It is currently still just a tropical storm, from what I can see. Beer and cards against humanity. Hurricane Franklin on the way. Wait, where is Hurricane Franklin? That's a Dahlia. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What's NOAA say? It looks like it's not even going to touch the country. Like, it's being very strongly pushed east. Okay. Oh, you're back into WoW. So how? So you not doing Skyrim really anymore? Me neither. Um, I've been playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom a lot. A uh, friend of mine, hardcore wow. Hardcore wow. One life per tune. Goodness. That is hardcore. Good luck. Um, What was I saying? Clay, my buddy, let me borrow. Uh, What's it called? Tears of the Kingdom. And I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. I talked about this on Thursday. The building mechanic, the thing that I was the most upset about... Uh, mostly because, and I realized this just a couple of weeks ago, it's catering to a younger audience. Uh, I realized that I am no longer the target demographic for video games, uh, especially Zelda games, especially, well, especially Switch games, uh, Nintendo games. <clears throat> and so it made me a little mad to realize that, yeah, this, this is not meant for me to enjoy. Uh, so if I don't enjoy it, they're not upset about it. Um... So, but that building mechanic is not nearly as prevalent as I thought it was. Um, and it's not as required as I was afraid it would be. It is required for certain things, but it's not really story required. Uh, I have not had to build a single thing in uh, pursuit of any of the main quests. Read a shit ton of kids' books to see what is acceptable for book reports. Okay, have fun. Enjoy your lurk. Um, I'm going to quit talking about Zelda and have a snack because I accidentally forgot to eat dinner. That is the weirdest thing to me. Um, I was playing Zelda and Paige made kind of a late, kind of a large lunch of uh, pigs and blankets. So um, I kind of forgot to eat until currently reading The Giver and Tuck Everlasting. The Giver, I read that in middle school, if that gives you any kind of context for when that's appropriate. And it was it was impactful when I was in middle school. Okay, you're teaching sixth. Very impactful. Oh, you're teaching. Wait, you teach? Okay, well, The Giver is definitely great for middle school. Tuck Everlasting, I never did read that. I think I saw they made a movie, right? Isn't that right? Hold on. Eh. Okay, there was a movie with, uh, what's her name? Alexis Bledel. About immortality. It is a children's novel. Published in 1975. So maybe grain of salt there um 
You know what's not appropriate for middle schoolers? Although I guess maybe it is. I don't know. I don't even remember when I watched The Bridge to Terabithia. I was probably an adult. I was probably at least a late teenager, probably in college. And I still hate that movie. Work in wholesale in the mornings and teach in the afternoons. Class day one is Wednesday. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I mean, good luck. <laughs> the giver, from what I remember, is definitely appropriate for middle schoolers for six, uh, maybe, maybe seven. I don't know. The book is sad. The movie, yes, fuck me up. I never did read the book because I saw the movie and I'm just like, no! Why? Why would you do that? I understand children and people have to deal with the concept of death, but nothing in the rest of that story was leading up to we're going to die at the end. Like, yeah, no, no, uh, flipped. That's not a book. It might be a book, book actually. Let me, let me look that up. Flipped. Okay. I just remember in the movie of Flipped. Okay, so there is a book, and I don't know whether the book came first. Um, <clears throat> Flipped was really interesting as Wrinkle in Time. Can't do Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children because of the two kissing scenes. I don't even remember those. Now, I did read those very recently, like within probably the last five years. So I was not middle schooler. Welcome back, Splatsap. Did you did your people enjoy the Splatsap? You know it's dumb? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have to follow the standards that the bureaucracy has set. Um, Binksy? No, it's Binsky. Not Binksy, Binsky. Good, I'm glad they had a good time. So your the exhibits there are interactive, right, Splatsap? Uh, by the way, I was picking a snack. You know what? I want the Reese's. I'm not even like gonna give you guys or RNGs a choice. I want the Reese's. So these are creamy Reese's. And until I saw this packaging, if you had asked me what kind of peanut butter is in Reese's, I would have said creamy or smooth. But uh, no, apparently this is even creamier, smoother. You're in a religious Republican Jewish middle school. Republican and Jewish don't often go together. Half your PR is people posting the exhibits on Insta and TikTok. Score. Republican Jewish. That's interesting. Okay. So, yeah, creamy Reese's. There are four of these. Of course, I have to save at least one per page, probably two. But she got them for me. Yeah, and in Florida. I got an ad. I got an ad, a uh, uh, campaign ad to support DeSantis's presidential campaign on Twitter. Like Twitter. Have you paid any attention to what I do or what I'm following? Whatever. Just cost the campaign money. Fine. Hmm. Oh, they're not even paying attention. So. So. Number one. That does not look anything like the package. It is not creamy. It's just more finely mashed than normal. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I'm with you, Splatsap. That, that is a unique thing for me. So yeah, this is not creamy. This is not like they took, you know, Jif or, you know, even like store brand creamy peanut butter and put it in here. They just milled Reese's peanut butter a little finer. Um, which is not bad. I don't think you can have a bad Reese's cup, but it's not anything like the packaging. Oh well. Okay. So, return my camera. 
No? Okay. Come on, mouse. There we go. Eh, my Reese's. Ads in one minute. Um, so while that is going, or until that's going, I'll go ahead and get this opened up. I already took off the plastic wrap, so we'll just get the box opened and see what's going on. Come on now. Okay, there's... Who's that? What did that just happen? Anonymous Gifter just gifted Splatsap a tier 1 sub. Thank you, Anon. I have no idea which of you that was, but thank you. I appreciate that. Subscriptions help make me happy and help keep me motivated to do the things that I'm doing on here. What did Rubinsky say? They won't let you wear a duck around and find out... Duck around and find out lanyard for your badge, but you can wear a fun fact. I don't care one. Okay, fun fact, I don't care. But not duck around and find out. Like, yeah, I mean... I feel like even public schools in California, which is, was fairly liberal, wouldn't allow the duck around and find out one. Fun fact, I don't care, though. Yeah, definitely allowable. Okay, so here is all the laser cut wood stuff. It's all wrapped in plastic. Let's see, this way. Okay, so if I'm going to be working mostly over here, I think I need to tilt this up some. Come on now. There we go. Okay, so here's all the laser cut wood. And then here's some sandpaper. And I believe this is the mirror that goes at the back of it to make it appear deeper. Uh, and then this is, I guess, some acrylic cutout stuff that's probably for the water. Yeah, it's Ripley. Okay, so it's the water uh, in the little creek. What about, like, the pride flag? I don't know. Okay, here is our instruction manual. And then it does light up. So here is our little LEDs and control panel and whatnot. Why is... There are a couple of leads that appear that they're, like pre kind of stripped okay all right so what it looks like is the leds where are you the leds right there and the battery and control board are separate and i'm gonna have to like twist them together or something once i've got it assembled yeah nothing nothing pride at all in florida because god forbid we let people be themselves whatever I mean, like, literally, that's what they think. God forbid we let people be themselves. That's literally what they're thinking. Okay, so this appears to be adhesive. Except the cap was off. Wait. Is there something I'm going to be able to pierce this with? Because this seems... Oh, no, there's a seal. Okay. How am I going to get that out? Okay, so this is adhesive. So this is what I saw her applying on the stream that I wasn't sure what's going on we got some screws for i don't know what yet screws oh shoot you can't see what i'm doing screws adhesive uh can't tell these are stickers of some kind i don't know what they're for they might be padding for the bottom it might be felted they might be hook and loop the micro hook and loop there's some kind of lens thing. These are probably for some kind of... Okay, so this is for the, the porch light that's here on whatever this store is here. And then a screwdriver and some angle brackets. Okay, so that's what the screws are for, for the angle brackets to hold it square. And then I don't know why they didn't just put this with the rest of the laser cut stuff, but this is the railing along the water there. Okay, this should be fine. Alright, let's get all these out of here. Don't need this. Get rid of that. Well, hello, Dimitri. Good evening. We are working on this. Um, it is a bookshelf insert uh, of a train passing through a little market area with a creek. 
um, in Japan in spring when the Sakuras are blooming. So should be nice. I saw this on Stardust Cindy's stream months ago. I believe Splat Zap rated out to her and she was building this. And I was like, it's so cute. That's so pretty. I have got to have that. It was the only thing I asked for for my birthday and Paige got it for me and it makes me so happy. By the way, the other thing I got for my birthday, in case you guys didn't see this last time, is this leather poof, this leather footrest. It's a soft, squishy footrest made of leather from Fez in Morocco, which is like the leather capital of at least Africa, maybe all the Middle East, maybe Eurasia or Afrasia, whatever you call it. Afroasia? I think that's the term for the when you're combining Africa and... No, wait. You're, you're Africa? I don't know. Anyway. It's a good, good peanut butter cup. All right. Um, let me... Oh, and I have tweezers from the kit I got to fix my Joy-Con, so that should be helpful for this. Let's get the plastic off of this. How is Dimitri's Monday morning? Are you still on summer vacation? Do you start school soon? School has started here, down the street. I almost got caught in the pickup traffic the other day. Coming back from... Where did I go? That I was coming back at like 2.30. Can't remember. You'll start school in a week. Oh, it is still Sunday night for you? It's not like 2 a.m.? Hold on, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 11. I thought it was like 2 a.m. Or 1.30, 2.30. Okay, 2.30, yeah. That's why I said Monday morning, because technically. Okay, so this is the water. No, this goes over the water. <laughs> this is our reflector in the back. You prefer to say it's still Sunday, so you don't feel like you've stayed up all night, even though you have? Okay, so these are cardboard corrugated roof pieces. That's the mirror at the back. Various wood-toned things. Uh, this probably goes in the water also. This is like floating. Okay. These... I don't know. Here's all the pretty color pieces. That's the creek, and then there's some more creek, and all the sakuras. Wow, these are all individual. So these are all, like, hard paper, not wood. Okay, and then this is... Whoops. No, oh, that came out really easily. This is wood. And this is wood. This is going to be, I guess, on the top. Oh, okay, so that's what... Uh, where'd it go? This is for. This goes over that for the top. Okay, I think. It's the right shape. Okay. So this is the top and the side. And then, yes. This looks like the same shape as the river, so this river probably goes over that. And then here's the back and the other side. And then various gray, I guess, metal colored pieces. Okay. Let me stack these back in the order they were in. These are less important to have in exactly the same way. At least as far as I'm concerned. Box, you need to move, unfortunately, because this is going to get messy. Scissors. How has your weekend been? How are you preparing uh, for school next week, Dimitri? Okay, so it says that these guys are tape. I don't know what that means exactly. We'll figure it out. Angle irons. That's not actually angle iron. I'm going to call it a corner bracket, but whatever. Lampshade, lens, okay. So this is what the finished product is going to look like. Let me get the angle. There we go. Okay, and then there are two separate LEDs. One has a longer lead and one has a shorter lead. White latex, so that's an adhesive. Direction of light caps. There's a vertical and a bending. Okay. 
read the Q&A. What if there are burrs? Remove the parts, then use the sandpaper to polish the edges. Uh, how to deal with loose parts after repeated disassembly. So if you have to take things apart and then they're loose, you can glue them. What needs to be considered when assembling the PET and mirror? Remove the films of the PET and mirror before assembling, then apply some glue on them and press 5 to 10 seconds. It needs to be considered when connecting the battery box with the light. Twist the same color wires together. If you connect red with black, it will short out after powering on. The light cannot work properly. What if the light doesn't work? It's fine. How to use the touch light. After assembly, you can touch the switch of the front board by lightly and all the light beads will be on. So that's this here. This is yeah, this is a touch sensor for the front of it to turn the lights on. Okay. Step one. Step one. All right, keyboard, you're going to have to move. Need more space. That's going to be interesting. Okay. Step one. Apply a dab of glue on the shaded areas of what? D2 and C3. Oh boy, oh boy, oh. When I worked on the marble machine, you went on a bike trip last Monday, 80 kilometers first day, 75 kilometers the second day, and 140 kilometers on the last day. That's like double the other two days. What made you have to do twice on the last day? Was that just returning? You were in a hurry to get back? That, that sounds like I'm in a hurry to get back. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to need to get a second table to put stuff on over here to bring over this or maybe over here. Um, I will be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. That played right as I clicked on this room, and I'm like, why is the room farting? Thanks, Eric. Why would the devs put a fart sound in this game? It's like a serious game. Oh, 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 crap, 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 crap. Oh, 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 that's, 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 oh, this is, oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Bad, 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 bad. What the fuck? Hey, a red key card. Shit. I don't know what that dance was supposed to be for. And good evening. My name is Robert, and I tried things. Today, I am trying to pretend. Not not even really pretend, but I'm not drunk. I am totally been drunk all day. <laughs> Ariel is partial to her dab. Oh my god, I just dabbed! I more or less swore to myself internally that I was never going to dab. Pizza Hut Pizza? Okay. Nice. With uh, scrambled eggs, crumbled, uh, cheese, green onions, and um, uh, a white country sausage gravy. And yeah, that's some good stuff. I've never had real poutine with the brown gravy and the cheese curds. Never had that. Um, I'm back. I'm sorry you had to listen to that. You're returning. Didn't want to stay more days. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, what Rubinsky said. Was it, you know, rough going? Was it a lot of up and down? How was the weather? Um, was it by water? That would have been nice. Okay. Need this over here. I had trouble getting the table unfolded. Okay. Let me get these laid out over here. Got that. Got, what are these called? What letter is this? I. I'm a sandpaper. That's, that's pretty obvious. Are these technically labeled J? This we got A. A. C. Oops. These are F. G. E. E. 
There we go. And H, I, J. Okay, we're all alphabetical now. It was pretty hilly. Bakes Jadi. I, I hope I pronounced that somewhere close to right. Or Beeks Jadi in Poland, so there was some hills. Landscape was pretty. Yeah, it's hard to find ugly landscape in Europe. Um, I'm convinced that any picture of Switzerland, any picture anywhere of Switzerland, could be a postcard. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Show me your ugliest picture of Switzerland, if you can find one. Okay. Oh, these are... Three, two. I'm going to keep these over here. Separate from all the laser cut stuff. Okay. So I need D2 and C3. A, B, C, 3, right? C3. That does not look like that. No, that's C4. What is C3? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, there's a number of C3s. There are four C3s, gotcha. Your hand still feels weird after holding the handlebar for that long? Yeah! Holy crap! I'm gonna have to actually scroll up and double check those distances in miles. Okay, so 50 miles uh, a day and then about 90 miles. So that's, that's you know, three to four hours each of the first two days, and then five or six hours the last day. Okay, so that was C, and then D, what is it now? Two? D2, okay, so there are four. Assemble two sets of parts. Oh, okay, so I need to do two of these. I seem very smart, I appreciate the compliment. Wait, who are we talking about, Dimitri? Yes, Dimitri is super smart. I thought you were talking about me, Rubinsky, sorry. The Fibonacci sequence? Oh, me, yeah. Uh, let's see, I know the principle of it is you add the previous number to the current number, so it's one, three, four, seven, 11. No, never mind. I'm wrong. One, one, two. Hold on. Okay, I, I started wrong, but the, the principle is right, right? <laughs> you got too many D3s. Or D2s, I mean. Okay, and then we need some adhesive. So, Rubinsky, to answer your question, the short version, no. Not really, apparently. Apparently, I was wrong. Run out seal. I don't need you to stick to my desk. We're just gonna stick you to some some plastic bag there. Okay. Okay. This one here. By dab of blue on the shaded areas. Okay. So we've got our which side goes out. I'm gonna assume the darker side of the C needs to show through the D, okay. Okay, the latex comes out very fine, but also pretty quickly. Yeah, that's probably too much, honestly. That sequence can convert miles to kilometers easily since five miles is eight kilometers and 13 miles. 13 kilometers is eight miles. Oh, that's handy. Okay. Now we can't say that one kilometer is one mile, but after that, so is it starting at, is it starting at five kilometers is three miles? Five kilometers, yeah. Okay, shoot. Wow, okay. Yeah, 5K is 3.1 miles. Okay, neat.
Now, Rubinsky, you called me smart. That's the smarter shit. Nope, that's too much. By the way, something you may not know about me is that I'm fairly clumsy. You didn't want to explain Fibonacci? Okay, I know of Fibonacci, and I know it's a sequence of numbers, and I know it's a, a regular... Uh, what's it called? Way of getting them, like... You could, if you know the way of counting the Fibonacci sequence, you can just go out forever if you felt like it. I do know that much. Okay, so I've got two of these. Okay, and then I need to flip. Okay. So what's happening here is I made two where the tab is on one side, and now I need to make two where the tab is on the other side. So right now we've got the tabs on the right side. Now I need to make them with the tabs on the left side. And, you know, leave it to me to forget that that's what I'm doing. Splatzap, you're at work. Don't apologize for leaving me alone. You got to do what you got to do. You got to earn that income. Get that bread. Where is my... Back up the booty. I need the booty. I do need the booty. Had the honor to travel a ton. The skill someone told me saved you many headaches. Yeah, shoot. There's at least one more family going through. That's one more fat butt, but wow, butt spot. Wow, butt spot. Can you jump scare them? Is that a thing? Beating up groups of people. Now, Splatsap, when you say you jump scared them, was it on purpose or accidental? Because it sounds like that's an accidental something. They didn't know you were there. Funny enough, actually have, oh, jump scared. Yes. On purpose. <laughs> okay, yes, now I'm double proud. I am with Rubinsky. I am proud of Splatsap jump scaring people on purpose. By the way, hi, Johnny. I noticed you there. We're doing arts and crafts. Well, not art, crafts. I'm assembling. I can assemble some things. I'm not too terrible at that. Having ideas? Mm, like being creative? Having original thoughts? Not so much. We have something called the Infinity Tunnel, where it looks like there's a bottomless pit. It's covered with glass, but really it's just a foot-tall room with an inverted mirror. Oh, I like those. And what, do you like push people or jump on it or something? So it's like one of those infinity tables where it's a glass top and some lights under the edge and then mirrors on all the other sides. No, 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 no. You are crooked. Don't do that. This piece of paperboard got bent when I pulled it out. Hi, Charlie. Exclamation mark kitty in chat to count the number of times the cats have shown up on the stream. This is Charlie. He's two years old. Whenever you notice someone's very timid, I'll be like, yes, by the way, that thing is prone to breaking. Someone fell through last month. <laughs> Good night, Dimitri. Get some sleep. Thank you, Johnny, for counting. No, Charlie, you can't have my peanut butter cup. No, chocolate is bad for you. Negatory. No, I see you going for those cups. Not allowed. Okay, I'm going to stack these so that hopefully the weight will keep that bottom one from bending and separating itself. Never had more respect for Splats Up than now, yeah. She has that wonderful chaos energy. No, Jarly, you can't have my peanut butter cups. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. There. No, don't you try to fit through there. Okay, that's better. But going over that cable would be a bad idea. Bad time. 
He's like doing the, like, you know, rub his nose on a cable. I don't get it. Okay, next. Okay, so we got those. I need a B2 and a B3. And Harley almost knocked down my mirror thing. Okay, B2. B3. Come on now. And it's telling me, okay, I need on B2, I need the design to be this way. And on B3, I need the design to be down. I need to sandpaper these because they've got stringy thingies on the end. This is pretty rough sandpaper, can't lie. Makes it good for this job. There we go. Okay, uh, so B2, B3. Okay, so this is a, well shoot. I don't want to stay together. Okay, so now this goes into B14. I may still have to glue this. B14, 11, 12, 13, 15. Where is 14? There it is, right? Oh, oh, that's B14. Oh, I need a B18 also, okay. Come on out, 14, nice and gentle. 18 is this shape. You can't see that. Actually, you can't see that either. But if I made it dark enough for you to see... Damn, Daniel! <laughs> there it is, there it is. Anyway, if I made it dark enough for you to see what's on the page, it would be too dark to see the actual work. Okay. So, goes this way, you go there, you go... There. Okay, hold on. These go together. And then they go into here. Have I mentioned that I'm clumsy? I'm probably going to break things. But things ought to turn out all right in the end. Okay, there we go. That looks crooked. It's probably supposed to be. Yeah, those, those holes are not level to each other. You can't see that. But you can kind of tell those two dark spots at the top, they're not level to each other. How about there? Can you see it there? Not much better. Okay, and then I need a sign to go here. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Got a pipe horse directly along that dimension, and that's it. Okay, there we go. We have a completed little sign thing with a cover. What does it say? Mi ta chi shi something ko. I don't know the kanji. Hi, Lily. Exclamation mark kitty again. This is Lily. She's one of our older two. She and James are eight. Yes, eight. Hydrate or dihydrate. Thank you, Johnny, for being so loyal to Count the Kitties. She's not really that fluffy, but she's very pretty. She's what we call a Torby. And I only learned this in the last year or two. I always thought she was just a tabby, but if you notice, she's splotchy, oops, you know, along her back here. There we go. She's splotchy on her back, but then she's also stripy. That means tortoiseshell plus tabby. The splotchy is tortoiseshell, the stripy is tabby. And uh, she's also a diva and an attention whore. And yeah, hey Lily, you're very much in the way. You're very much in the way. You're all the way in the way. We can't see anything because all we can see is you. And I can't work because you're right in my working space. Yes, hi, sweetie girl. Yes, I love you. 
I'm going to have to kick you off the table shortly. I'll give you some face scrubs. See, other streams, when she's up here and I'm scrubbing her face, you can't see this because it's, you know, below the level of the camera. But now you can see Lily and her, you know, throwing her face at my hand. Throwing her face at my hand. I, I like the way that sounds. All right, baby girl, I need you to go. There you go. Love you. Okay. stack these back up again so that we can hopefully unbend that bottom piece okay so we got that okay so i need a 20 a 18 24 25 a so a is the pretty pale blue colored stuff here 18 24 and 25 here's 24 and 25 18 is this one and i take the circle out and that gets discarded so, these laser cuts leave very fine connections, which is the point. It's entirely the reason that laser cutting exists. Okay, so you go this way. A24 goes like this. goes like this. Okay, and then I get 822 and it goes on the bottom. Except, okay, there's a 22 and a 23. Am I going to need 23? I am. Very next step. Lily is pawing at the automatic feeder because I turned it down to feed them less. Well, no, she's pawing at the automatic feeder because she's a fat ass and they always do that every day. But also, I turned the feeder down to feed them less because uh, my friend Eric, who is now fired, by the way, from taking care of the cats while we're out of town, uh, fed them too much. In fact, he wasn't supposed to be feeding them at all. Okay, so this way. Um, he fed them for the week we were gone, and so they each gained minimum a pound, if not two pounds. Hey, it's Be Real time. If you're not following me on Be Real, do exclamation mark socials, and you can get that link. It's, um, and if you're not familiar with what Be Real is, it, you get a notification sometime within the day. There we go. And you take a picture of what you're doing. Right at that moment, you have two minutes to do so. And yeah, it's like real. This is what I'm actually doing social media, not this is my idealized, perfectized version of what I want my life to look like. Or what I want you to think of my life. I like it in that sense. Okay, I need A16 next, because it has to go... Oh, so this is the air conditioner. That's funny. Okay, so line these up. Okay, go here. That goes just inside there. Okay. And then... Oh, and I'm supposed to glue. So I glue. Oops, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, so we glue that. And we put A23 on up here. to sort of kind of lock that in place. Come on now. Don't want to break anything. Really don't want to do that. Who's there? Ariel, Ewio! Ewio, woo. Hello. Okay. It's a tiny little air conditioner. But let's see if I can fix the focus here for two seconds. 
Where, where is it trying to focus? Eh, whatever. Okay, it's a tiny little, tiny air conditioner. Okay. You're still at work, but hi! Okay, I love you. If Cora's there, say hi. Okay. Next. We need A9 and A11. So we're doing a lot of A stuff here. Well, no, we're almost done with the A's. Okay, A9 and A11. See you. These are the supports of the air conditioner. They go against the bottom. Okay, so one of them, yeah, has a longer. Okay, so A9 goes on the left side. Through the hole nice and gently. Not breaking these very delicate little pieces of fine, probably. Okay, and then A11. A11 and A9 have spare parts because they know that these are very fine. Yeah, they have doubles. Cool. Just in case I do break these, they have spares. Thank you. Okay, that's in there. Cool. And then there's an E25. A, B, C, D, E. So we're getting into like the metal colored one. 25 it says. And 51 I need. Okay. A24, 5. Okay. Come on now. A25 and 51. Okay. 25 gets glued in. Should I zoom this in for you guys? Is that nicer? I feel like that's nicer because these are very tiny. And if I have to, I'll zoom it out later when the pieces get bigger. Okay. Come on, Latex. Come on out. There we go. That should work. Tweezer time! There we go. Nice. Okay, and then this way. There's supposed to be... Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I've got that turned around. Okay, so this way. That's... There's not enough space for that? Something is wrong here. Did I get the right piece? E51. 51, that's this. I don't know if you can see this, but this piece is supposed to slot into both here and down here, but the slot on that side here is too high. Did, did I fuck that up way back when? I did. I take this apart without breaking things? I don't know. Okay, so it's not this piece's fault, it's my own fault for assembling it wrong. Come on now. Gentle, gentle, you can do this. This is not glued as far as I'm aware. Come on. Let's wiggle that apart. There we go. I kind of chipped some of the fine. All it needs to do is flip around. Or does it? No, it needed to flip 
horizontal only two, so we're gonna have an ugly side here. Okay, so is that right now? Yes, okay. So we're gonna stick that back on there. I'm gonna have two of these. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. So I broke, I don't know if it's gonna focus that close. Never mind. So there's some pieces here that broke off the painted part that I'm going to need to attempt to stick back on. And it's just like a veneer layer, you know? So it's going to be very tiny. In fact, it probably won't even be visible in the final product, but I want to do this right, you know? That's, okay, that is the right side here. Okay, and then you, nope, turn over. Come on now, turn over. Every once in a while, I wonder whether I'm allergic to cats, and then I realize I have three cats, and I'm not miserable, like, nothing itches, I don't swell, whatever, but what makes me wonder is their hairs. They have very, very, you know, fine kitty hairs. They get stuck on my very, very fine, like, peach fuzz baby hairs, and it makes my face itch like crazy. Okay, now we stick this on here. Okay, there we go. Snap in, snap in. Oh, we have a tiny little air conditioning unit. That is complete. Who's calling me? My dad! I'm sorry, dad. I'm, I'm in the middle of something. Hold on, let me text him. John is playing Final Fantasy XIV, by the way. In case anybody's not already lurking slash watching him. You're probably watching him and lurking me. Okay. Uh, so, yay! Tiny little air conditioner compressor unit. That's cute. Okay. So, we're just going to set that aside now. I keep knocking these over. There we go. Just set those over there. Okay. Next, I need F12 and C32. A, B, C, D, E, F. Well, okay, C32. So this is my paperboard stuff. C32, 31, 32. There it is. Okay. Please, please don't tear. This is paper, so it's gonna be a lot more fragile. There we go. A lot more flexible. Okay, and then what was it? F A B C D E F. I don't see a matching piece here on F. F twelve. Thirteen. Oh there it is. Never mind. I'm just blind. Okay, okay, very fine, fine pieces. Apart gently. Nice, there we go. Okay. So, I need to stick these together. And I'm gluing these. So I'm sticking these together so that the printed side is on the outside on both sides, and the paper side is here, and the wood side is here. So the MS book, one of us is lying, is not half bad. MS book. What is an MS book? When I read MS, I think multiple sclerosis. I don't know why. That's, that's a lot of people. Come on now.
blue is fighting me a little bit. Okay, no, one more. One more dead. Probably need to have something to wipe off this applicator tip. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, it is oozing out. Okay, so now I need two more pieces to glue on either side of this to make it three-dimensional. Middle school, okay. Five people in detention, one dies mysteriously. All five people were framed uh, for their school violations to end up in detention, but normally you read it <laughs> sclerosis, okay. Had a student with it when you taught a Sunday school for a month. Okay, I don't know why I think of multiple sclerosis. I, I've only ever like heard of it on TV, like, you know, medication ads and in certain dramas. One of us is lying. Huh, I haven't read that one. You gonna spoil it for us? What do we got? C24 and 22. That is these two, I can tell already. Gently, 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 gently. Go. Outlines here for where to place these. Horrible disease. Watch the show instead. One of us is lying. Oh, I didn't know there was a show. I'd never heard that name before, that title. Okay. There are alignment markers on here for where these need to go. Oh, I've got this backwards. Okay where these need to go. Okay, okay, I see that. Okay, so... Did my phone bounce? What happened here? Okay. So we're gonna apply more glue to the front of this, most of the front of this. <sighs> Only heard of it a week ago from the, a neighbor. Okay. Yeah, oh, we're getting a little sideways, not clogged. But yeah, a little bit. Blue is having a little bit tougher time coming out. And I say glue. They say it's a uh, uh, silicone. Hopefully it dries clear because there is definitely glue visible through there. You can't see it on the camera. Okay. I don't know why this song is part of this playlist. It's supposed to be... Oh, no, because it went to a different... Oops, it went to a different playlist. Oops. I hope I don't get... Muted for that. Probably will. Okay. Oops. Give you anxiety you're sticking to Legos? I Like, this is, to me, an extension, a, a uh, next step from things like Legos or Kinects. Um, except, you know, more... I don't know, just artistic, more creative. Now, I know you can get very creative and artistic with Lego. Don't 
to the booty, more booty. I about to buy it. That's too much glue. Well, it is what it is. The good news is, again, this is very small and it's going in a bookshelf. And so it'll be receiving like passing glances at most, except from me. So I'm going to stare at it until I hate it, probably. Come on, now. Come on line up. There we go. I'm going to lay it that side down. I'm going to put this coaster on top so it'll set. It butts amazing though. But Spot, what makes you tick? It looks. Yeah, yeah. The fact that it's glue and can't be undone. Yeah, yeah. What was my favorite time I outsmarted someone? I can't remember ever outsmarting anyone. Um, okay, let me think. Outsmarted someone. I really can't remember ever doing that. I used to think I was a smart person and then I grew up. You know, I was in the gifted classes as a kid and yeah, I was really advanced for fourth grade, but you know, only for fourth grade. <laughs> Um, let's see. That smarted someone. If you could change one law, what law would it be and how would you change it? Um, term limits for any elected office. Any elected office. Every elected office should have some kind of term limit. And I specify elected. Appointed offices like... <laughs> Copy pasting your writing's palms from your students. Yeah, your students probably outsmarted someone a lot more recently than I did. Um, yeah, definitely term limits for elected offices. Appointed offices, like justices especially, that functions in a very different way from uh, elected offices, and so that needs to operate the way that it does. But elected offices, it should not be anybody making it their entire lives doing it for 50 plus years, no. Okay, uh, now I need C31. 31. Come on up, my little flowers. And... Okay. So... Huh, that's nice, C3D. So this gets stuck where okay so we're we're looking at it this way and it gets glued on it's somewhere on the back side of here this seems a little superfluous but we're gonna give it a try okay I think it's not really that important for it to be perfect at this point. Come on now. And tweezers. And just kind of, you know, stick somewhere around there. No, nope, just, just stay. Not just stay there. Why are my tweezers sticking together? I've, as far as I know, I haven't touched glue with them. I have. A term cap? Yeah. The term limit, I think, is the, the term. If you had a chance to live anywhere you could, where would it be and why? Somewhere with... Somewhere on the equator. Good God. Uh, Hawaii. I, I've talked about this a lot. Tropical. Uh, somewhere on the equator so that it's warm year-round. Day length is the same year-round. Um, and that's, those are my main two reasons. Don't go to Maui right now. <laughs> like, I'd rather live in Maui with wildfires than somewhere with snow. Like, God, I've said before that I would live in a literal volcano if you if I was able to, 
if I never had to deal with snow ever again. Okay. So that part's done. Yay, we get to new pieces. Okay. C and F. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so C, 17, and 23, which are these, the light, the crossing light for the train track. Come apart nice and easy. 17, 23, 23, okay. And F9. Go F nine. That's seven, eight, nine. Here it is. Ooh, ooh, this is gonna be delicate out here on this arm. Ooh, delicate. Ooh, this is very thin. Come on. You're you're being there we go. Erlin! Era! Hi, Erlin. Good evening. Happy Sunday. Conspiracy theories. The same police commissioner from Vegas shooting happens to now be the commissioner of Maui Police. A beach in Mexico? Well, South America doesn't appeal to me uh, because of drug cartels. And I know that's a little bit um, prejudiced, and I'm sorry. And I realize Mexico is not South America either. Mexico is still North America. But... Um, Drug cartels, number one, and then just waterborne diseases. Puerto Rico. I've never been to Puerto Rico. Uh, we just recently talked about that. Um, okay, so this. Okay, so. So we're doing this thing and this here. Yeah. Okay. Um. We just recently talked about that. In the next couple of years, I want to travel out of the country. We've done very little traveling ourselves. A couple of good games are Frosthaven. How am I and what am I making? Your mom recommends the Canary Islands as a destination vacay. That sounds nice. Um, I don't really know anything about Canary. Oh, 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 that's way too much. Oh, that's bad. Suck some of that back up if I can. Can you guys see all the glue that I just did? That's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Um, no, uh, Rubinsky is trying out his middle school class uh, questions. They're off the north coast of Africa. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Had to go there for an HL7 conference and she loved the area. Is this paper or wood? It's both. Um, there are some paper parts, some wood parts. It's primarily wood. Um, yeah, it's mostly wood. Shoot, that is way too much. Okay. So this piece is going to now be my kind of glue palette. This was a discard piece. It's both paper and wood. It is... Where did the box go? It's this. It's a, ooh, okay, hold on. It's a bookshelf insert. Wow, that's, there we go. A bookshelf insert uh, of a train scene in Japan. Hydrate or dihydrate. <laughs> Rubinsky, are we the same? Did I already hydrate? I'm hydrating again. Erlen, be proud of me. I hydrated again. Okay. Mm, okay. So we are going to apply. Fine, fine, fine. We're going to apply some of this glue here and here and here. And. Yeah, wait, I don't need it there yet. Here. This, this part is making me mildly stressed. Yes. Yes, it looks like there's a tiny little um, Japanese shopping area with a train running through it on my bookshelf. 
Kind of like the aliens in the locker in MIB, but prettier. And nothing actually alive in here. That alignment. Now fix the other alignment. Okay, that should be okay. As far as I know. <laughs> Toothpick to apply the glue, yeah. I neglected to prepare for that. Now this does have a very thin little applicator tip. I just squeezed way too much of it out at once. There could be borrowers in my bookshelf. I mean, there's not actual living space in here, as far as I can tell. Where was I? Right. Next part. Going back to the C's. The C pieces are the paperboard pieces. So I need... Oh, and then I'm going to need an F piece also. Okay. So C, 14, 15, 16, and 11. Okay, 11 is my warning X here. Okay, 14. 15. 16. Oh, both 16s. There are two C16s. Okay. And then also an F8. There we go. Add time. What is Erlen making? Could be borrows taking vacation. Okay, so which side? Okay, I did that, so I'm turning this over? Yes, and we're gluing things. Okay, so these two, so this is F8, no, F8 going on top of C11, really? Why? Also, why are there two of these? I guess they can't print on both sides, okay. why we're even doing two sides to this crossing arm because oh i get it i was gonna say we can't see both sides of the crossing arm but there's gonna be a mirror panel in the back where we will be able to see both sides okay and then these two get glued to each other and then applied to the arm or to the post that's a lot. That's probably way too much. Okay, and then these get glued onto the lights. Now we're only gluing the lights on one side? Well, I guess there aren't lights on the other side of a crossing arm. Okay. So, Era, uh, you said, what are you, oh, what are you making? You're not making a baby, I hope. There we go. Tiny llama, and its face is smaller than a quarter? Making it out of what? glue little 
Crossing. And his name is John C. I didn't do the arm motions because I'm let's see. Are we sure these weren't supposed to be? No, I guess they're just supposed to be on one side. Okay, and then this gets at the top. Crocheting it. Mid glue? Hi, Aaron Knight, by the way. Yes, the focus. I am focusing. That's that's exactly what's happening here. Totally not getting distracted by all of you. Hey, there's the placement. Oops. Okay, this is going to have to sit and dry for a while. Oh, because I was made glue. Yes. Oh, you're crocheting a llama with a face. At... Do you crochet something that small? How thick are the needles? Crochet. Yes. Hooks. Sorry. Crochet hooks. How thick are the hooks? Are they like toothpicks? <sighs> 1.8 mil. I thought you were old and broken, Erlen. I thought you couldn't do things like that. I keep looking at my screen to try to find the instructions when they're down here. Okay. This is definitely more than a two or three hour stream job. It's already 8.30. Goodness. Uh, okay, so I need F11, F10, and C35. C35 is our long Sakura trunk here. And we're going to need to attach 36 and some other things to it later. Okay. C35. F10 and F11. That's an interesting little piece. The yarn is embroidery floss. Yeah, no, but just like, if you're old and broken, your hands aren't going to be moving well enough to do that, so... Somebody dying. Okay. So we've got, okay, the two pretty sides oppose each other, obviously. Obvs. Okay. That's probably too much glue. Wow, that went on really nicely. Not expecting to be able to line that up that well that easily. It's not perfect, but it's really nice. Okay. Gonna have to let that sit and dry also. Yeah, we don't need this piece in there just yet, guys. Well. Some of these others seem like they might go behind it. So if I put this in here, and then there's a piece C27, let me get that. The stitches aren't as tight and tiny as you used to be able to make it. So? That's still tight and tinier than I could do with my ham hawks. Ham hands, whatever you call it. Right, C27, 8, and 5. Five, seven, twenty-eight. What colors are your llama? Okay, so, oh shoot. I lost track of which was which. Well, they're basically identical, almost. In fact, they're actually identical. Yeah, these are the same piece. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Okay, one of them goes 
in this orientation right here the way cat here okay there's another one so that goes there and then this one goes like of not having to put this in just yet stands, I think. You had your daughter add some stuff to the handles to make them wider so they're easier for you to hold. Brown with a white face and ears. That sounds cute. I want to see it. Okay. Let me refer to the finished product. I cannot tell where this goes. Okay. Oh, I just closed. How did that happen? How did you even get inside the book? Um, okay. I feel like the exact placement here isn't that important. This way. Okay, I was orienting it wrong. There, okay, so that's how that goes. That's what I care about, okay. A little bit more precise than I was expecting, okay. And then this one is in this orientation and this is that is that right nope nope that's not right like this that's the one okay to be good enough. That old glue puck keeps getting stuck to places that it doesn't need to be. Glue palette, I'm going to call it. And then 28 goes on the other side in this orientation. Okay, and what's it look like on this side? There are no guide marks on this side. So we're just going to kind of wing it. Okay, so we're just going to do that. There we go. That looks okay. That looks pretty good. And then you can go in here now. Now that I'm not having to glue things around you. There we go. And then you can just sit and dry for a while over there. Nope. No, you can't. 
because we gotta attach something else. Well, okay, you can dry while I assemble the thing that gets attached to that. Hi, I lurk. Okay, hi, Mego. Love you. Doesn't really look like anything right now, but I mean, this doesn't look like much of anything yet, although I guess the individual pieces do, but not the point. It's the process, but yes, I do want to see the finished project product also. Okay. What's next? Right, this thing. So I need a bunch of C pieces and an F again. So F13, that's definitely this one. And then C34, 36, and 26. So there's a 26, there's a 34. Come on now. And there's a 36, right? 36? Okay. Okay. So, obviously I need to glue these two together with their blank sides facing. Who's Rubinsky? Sets alarms for tomorrow. You have 6.5 hours of sleep. Yeah, that's one thing I don't dig about the Android alarm is when you set an alarm, it says, okay, you're waking up in X amount of time. But like, I don't actually have that problem because I go to sleep at the same time and get up at the same time. It's never a mystery when I'm going to go to bed or get up. Well, okay, going to bed is a little bit more of a mystery, but that's mostly because I have to coax Paige into bed. But also it's less important because I'm a house spouse. I don't have to like get up and go to work. Which I know makes me the envy of like everybody. Your ADHD will make you forget the lack of hours. So are you saying that if it didn't tell you how much sleep you were getting, you wouldn't know You're just dumb enough to start work at five. Yeah. Okay. So those are there. And then these guys more or less just go Okay, okay. I kind of see what's going on here. So there are branches coming off of here. These three branches that are gonna kind of correspond to three of the flowers on here. Okay. Come on. Don't clog up on me. I may need to get a needle or a toothpick or something to put in there when I'm not using it so that it doesn't keep clogging up. Uh-oh. Nobody warns me. You don't know. It's not enough, but I wouldn't pay attention to how little it actually is. You would know it's not enough, but you wouldn't pay attention to how little it actually is. I'm still a little unclear. So if your alarm app didn't tell you that you were getting very little sleep, your ADHD brain wouldn't care that it was very little sleep. Or, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not understanding well. I apologize. Oh, I did that upside down. Oh, well, too late. It looks the way it looks now. Okay. Okay, so these are just getting stuck together, so I'm going to wait for these to dry. Those two to dry. You'd feel tired, but your brain doesn't really process time. 
Okay. So we're sticking things. We're preparing the film of J4 before assembling. Apply a dab of glue on the back of F1. Okay, so I need J4, F1. Just J4 and F1. Okay. Uh, F1. That's the one. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Okay, it's supposed to be flexible. It's supposed to bend. I was freaking out because it was bending. Okay, F, G, H, I, J. J, what is it? Four. Four. Welcome back from ads. People who are not subscribed. Okay, film coming off. And this gets applied, so there's text and it goes here. Okay, so this is, oh, this is the train. That's adorable, that's the train car. That's so cute, okay. Progress pick and content show off. Okay, let's check that out. Uh, keyboard, come here. Content show off, there it is. Yeah, it looks like, okay. Erlen, you were right. That doesn't look like anything yet. Sorry. It just looks like little blobs of embroidery floss. So, um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Erlen, let me know when you're back. You're, you wouldn't hear that since you're having ads. You're back. Okay, so Erlen, you were right. They look like little blobs of embroidery floss. They don't really look like anything yet. Um, so when you're saying the the yarn is the embroidery floss, is it all six strands? It's the whole thing, or is it individual ones or numbers of ones? What do I need now? Okay, A1 and A6. Look at all the holes in this A1. That's a lot of things that are going to get stuck in here. It's probably all the little people figures who I don't see. I wonder where they are. Oh, okay. I see them. Okay, so A1, A6. Six, you're pointing at this? Yes, that is six. It's the whole thing, all six strands, except yours only has two. Hold on. Oh, okay, so you got the larger one. Okay. Normally, uh, or my experience with embroidery floss is it's you're supposed to separate the individual strands and they're supposed to be six and it's for the cross stitch. Okay, so the blank side of A1 goes up and then A6 goes into these holes. Nope, come here. now snug as a bug in a rug okay and then i need a 12 and 13 generic it's called friendship thread oh so it's for like friendship bracelets okay what do i need again 12 and 13 and 14 and 15, okay. 12. Well, come on out, 
nice and gentle. Ah. 13. 14. 15. I pulled out the spare. Oh, and there's A2, which I'll probably need soon. But I accidentally pulled out the spare for A11 because the separator parts are very, very thin. Okay, so there's the spare for A11. And this is not actually a piece, so we can discard that. A11, we'll just put that over there. Okay. So 12 and 13 go. Shoot, I didn't keep track of which was 12 and which was 13. Or did I get 13? No, 12 is longer than 13. What happened to... Oh, there it is. Okay. So, 12 is longer than 13. So, 12 goes on the near side. Into these holes. hear crickets outside. I've had to grab Charlie twice in the last couple of days. Wait, what are we laughing about? What are you laughing about, Erlen? I've had to grab Charlie twice in the last couple of days when I've heard him starting to throw up. Um, and I'm like, okay, dude, let me get you onto some hard floor so it's easier to clean up, please. And it's literally just some bile or and or water and like a blade of grass, a long one that he ate. Because cats. And I know cats eat grass on oh, I just broke this. Oh no. Okay. Um Damn it. Don't think that this has to slot into anything else. So as long as it's in its place, it should be okay. Shoot. <sighs> Damn it. I just broke this thin piece right here, which you can't really tell. You buy wheatgrass literally just so your cats can eat it. Dogs rear than glad. Yeah, these guys, James, one of his favorite things to do outside. So when he goes outside, he likes to lay there he likes to chase bugs or lizards. He likes to watch the bunnies and the birds in the neighbor's yard. And he likes to eat grass. For no reason. It's like, he's not sick. He's not trying to make himself throw up. Um, he just likes to eat grass. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully that's not going to bite me. It's on the back side of the train. Like, it's as, it's as far out of sight as anything can be in this thing. Yeah, I think it's just a support piece. So I think it should be okay. okay. Not even all the way in there. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. So now you go next to that. And then you go next to the broken one. So that'll help hold it in place too. So that's nice. Did I do that wrong? No, the one with... Yeah, the one with the bigger holes goes in front, and then the one with the smaller holes goes in the back. Oh, there's only one hole that... Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's supported by this piece that just went next to it, so that's good. That's nice. Hydrate or dihydrate. Really good source of fiber. Yeah, no, I just find hairballs with grass in them occasionally. That's fun stuff. Okay, so now I need four A8s. They look like funky shaped ping pong paddles. And they go up under this to look like the wheels of the train. You know what? Hey, Rubinsky, I mildly changed my mind a little bit. Like, tropical is my number one criteria for where I'd like to live. However, somewhere with a working 
very uh, practical and efficient public transport system. Like Japan. Japan's trains are so on time and so regular that if something happens, something irregular happens to make them late and it makes you late for work, they have passes that they pass out at the train station to prove to your boss, hey, I was late because the train was late. I wasn't just being lazy. These are the holes that these go in, right? You gotta be, yeah. Internet? What are you? What are we interneting, Erilyn? Was it about Japanese internet? Is yeah, probably really fast. I think. I don't think it's the fastest in the world. I think it's some tiny Nordic country. I can't remember which one. What are we interneting, Erilyn? Okay, and then I need a 17, 20, and 21. Okay. Uh, 17. Well, I mean, these are just support pieces, and there's nothing else for them to support, so if they break, it's no big deal. Primary things I need to live in a place like, it would be nice, but honestly, the, the primary thing is uh, average temperature above 80 degrees. Or daily temperature above 80 degrees. That's my primary thing. Next is day length of at least 9, 10 hours. Like, sunlight of at least nine or 10 hours. Okay, so A21 is this piece, and it goes there. Like, I could live my life without internet. It could happen. Oh, I need the two A17s. Okay, I didn't realize I needed both of these. I should have realized. Okay, so this is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. And while she looks so sad in photographs, I absolutely love her when she smiles. Okay, and then that goes around either side of that into, so these are the steps up into the train pool. Go in the hall. Just heard Paige walking around upstairs. I wonder what she's doing. Hopefully going for a shower. She mentioned she was going to shower earlier. What time is it? Nine o'clock? Okay. Okay. Steps are assembled. That's what he said. Yes. I, I stopped myself before I said, come on, wood, go in the hole. So we are just assembling the whole damn train here. Sweet. Okay, F3. F, F3, there it is. This is the people, the commuters, oh, and the operator on the train. They go right in the middle here. It's mildly difficult to support pushing. There we go. Definitely, definitely do not want to push. And I'm, I'm glad I didn't even consciously think about this. So there's this very fine little top part here. Very slightest pressure on that would have just snapped it right off. And I'm glad I didn't even attempt that. I didn't even think about that. I was just like, okay, we're gonna 
pinch and apply pressure that way. Okay, I need A3 now. And it says something about polish. What am I making sure to polish? like this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I glue this on the... No, okay, I've just got it upside down. Okay. So I'm just going to attach the back side and then wrap it around and attach the other side. Uh, don't break things off in other places. Okay, we're in the hole. We're in. Crap, okay. goes and then there we go got the train body on there okay and then three now this is going to be interesting because there are five points that need to go through holes kind of all at once because we can't flex this much. There we go. Got our little train sandwich pretty much together there. That's nice. Okay. F2. I remember these. Oops. I knocked down. Uh, okay, so this is F17. Another piece that... So there are these... Hmm. Give me the booty, I want the booty. Once made an accessory for a crochet project, you made it that was two toothpicks whittled down to look like tiny knitting needles. And when you knit a small swatch on them to add to the little bunny that was holding the knitting needles. Holy cow, that's adorable. You couldn't do that anymore? I have faith in you. Matt, wake up. There we go. So these get glued on either side of what appears to be the door here. So come here, glue. I hope you haven't dried closed yet. Okay. Knitting on half a toothpick size needles. Yeah. Not saying I ever could. I have always been clumsy. The fact that I've only broken one thing so far is kind of miraculous. Let's look at other stuff. 
Is it drag clear? Yeah, more or less. It's shiny, but it's clear. Adds in 15 seconds, by the way. Thank you, Erilyn. I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Okay, so there's those. Got that on. What is... It's saying turn it around, but I'm not actually turning it around. I don't know what that's about. Okay. What is that? Oh, okay. I've moved down. So C37. Maybe C37. And I'm going to need 33 in a moment. This one hopefully is not going to tear because it's flexible. So, which direction does this go? This way. space to glue that on the other side, so it looks like oh, C37 C has spare parts, that's what it said. What, did Buttspot say butt accessory? Need butts. A butt accessory. Yeah, okay, he did say that. Or it, I guess. Okay, and then this goes in there. Wraps around, goes in the slot on the other side. I realize you can't see what I'm doing, sorry. Okay, we have most of a train car. There's more to it. I'm not even half done. Nope, not even half done, and it's already nine o'clock. Okay. All right, uh, I need A2, which fell out of its own accord when I first started working with these A's. All right, A2. And then G, six, nine, and seven. Uh, F, G, G. Damn it! I just knocked out. What is this? G three. So G. There's nine. Come on. There we go. Nine, six. Nothing's broken, it's just pulling things apart before I'm ready for them. Okay, go back, go back here, G. So, six and seven. Uh, okay, so. There's seven, okay. Hydrate time again. I feel like it's telling me to hydrate more often than 15 minutes, but that's okay. All right. And then nine goes in here. Come on now. My fingers are too big for us. Tell you what, tell you what. G6, come back out. Nine, go into six. And then six, go back into A2. There we go. And then all of that goes on the rest of the train.
don't want to just like smash it down and crush the thing. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's good. Now I need G's. G, 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 F, G. Okay. Uh, five, two G5s and a G8. Here's my G5s and there's a G8. What is your fun news, Ariel? And welcome back. Okay. So eight goes on here. That's an adorable little 45 degree angle thing. Cora and you are going to be seeing Beetlejuice the Musical in October. Is it coming to your state or are you going to have to travel? Or are you going to get to travel? Sorry. Let's see. These go this way. One onto, onto the little... I don't want to break things, damn it. Post. They're coming to Des Moines. Wow. I was like, stayed away. I could theoretically go do that. Go meet you in Cora. Don't get your hopes up, though. 15 minute drive now. Yeah, it used to be what? Like an hour and a half? Okay, so those are there. I need C2. C2. Okay, so it's this whole three panel thing. Okay. Okay, this way. Okay, I don't want to break this. Gotta bend. Okay. These don't fall apart. Okay. Okay. That's on. And then I, oh, also need C13. You're also going to go to Kansas. Oh, Kansas City in October. I have, as far as I know, no plans to be anywhere else in October. So we definitely have to hang out. Kansas City is about an hour away. So yes, please. Okay, which... Okay, so the narrow end goes up. I don't like that you're supposed to bend these on purpose. I'm not very good. Which Kansas City? What do you mean, which Kansas City? Is there more than one Kansas City? Have I been living under a rock? Next to the Kansas City? What do you mean, which Kansas City? Is that a real question? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Like, they're the same city, more or less, but there is Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri. That's true. But like, they're the same. They go into each other. They're both sides of the same river. Same border. Okay. Yes, it is the same city, just has two states. Okay, uh, next I need C1, and I'm gonna bend that around all of this, and it's gonna do what? We're gonna glue this? That seems ill-advised. That seems like if anything needed a slot, it would be this. Glue it in what fashion? Okay, come on, bend properly now. 
Come on, pen properly. Wait, wait, how? Where am I gluing this? This seems like the dumbest idea. Unless, oh, it's supposed to go around the A2 and the A3 here, rather than necessarily around the, okay, so we're doing this kind of thing. That makes way more sense for why it has to be glued, but I wish it didn't. That's how that's supposed to go. What state do I live in? I live in Kansas. I'm in Topeka. That's not a secret. Nobody cares enough about me to try to dox me. And in fact, like Taylor has come to visit me. I've had multiple people like mail me things. Now, I'm not going to, like, give my exact address to everybody on the internet. But, yeah. I hear the water running, so it seems like Paige is showering. Ooh la la. This needs to line up properly before the glue sets. Okay. So we're gonna have to hold this for a while. Okay. Please, please work. Sister-in-law lives close to KC, don't blame me. There are weirdos on the internet. Yes, yes. Um, my former stepsister's daughter, who's probably 13 or 14, came in the chat a week or two ago uh, and like just gave her full name. And I'm just like, mm, I'm going to delete that because it's not a good thing to do when you're uh, barely a teenager <laughs> on the internet. Not a smart thing. Okay, while this is drying, I'm going to need E, several different E's. Uh, the metal colored ones. E5327. Oh, an A7. A7. Almost done with the A's. There's only what? Four pieces left? Five? Yeah. Okay. You made your kids make up internet names and make emails with those. Yeah, I didn't do all of that, but um, for some reason, the an e blah 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 an email address came to me when I was like twelve, just for no reason. I'm like, yeah, okay, that sounds cool. I'll give it a try. I had a friend uh, in middle school. His email was dbz2007 at yahoo. Of course, now they don't remember the passwords. Yeah. Yeah, I set all that stuff up before recovery. Emails were a thing. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Damn it. I just got this a little wrong. I just pulled out E27. Right? 29, 28. 27. Where are you? Yeah, 27. I don't need E. Oh, I do need E27. Okay. That's not bad then. Okay. E53 next. The glue is holding. Okay, this way. Come on, don't make me accidentally pull off this glued part, please. That flush. That's pretty flush. Okay. E27 into A7. Into... 
Uh, it's whatever. Okay, so this I'm gonna put this on first and then do the A27. So it has something to friction against. One for scary stuff. What what scary stuff would you need a separate email for? Like risky stuff? I didn't break the little antenna part. Look how tiny that is. I didn't break that. Stuff that might have a virus or something. Okay, yeah, okay, that kind of stuff. Uh-oh, okay. Oh, okay, it's on the back side, it's fine. Now I need A4 and A5. So we're down to just three pieces left on the A board. Excuse me. There's no excuse for me. Your mom worked from your home computer sometimes, so you were not allowed to break it. I broke our computer so many times that I got really um, good at fixing it. <laughs> I went to adult sites that I was not supposed to at like 12 and 13 years old and got so much spyware and whatnot that I got really good at factory resetting it in like 15 minutes or restoring a restore point and nobody was ever the wiser and Nana if you ever watch this yeah that's me telling on myself okay so this so which is four and which is five does it matter okay I'm assuming the longer one goes in front that's five please don't break this has very t fine pieces she was a programmer okay yeah you couldn't do what I was doing that's right, you've told that story. Come on. Come on. Don't make me break things, please. It's like half a millimeter left, please. Okay. realize you can't see this when I'm holding it like right up to my chest. I'm sorry. Maybe I do need to turn it back this way a little bit. Can you see my stomach? Come on, don't make me break things. I don't like breaking these tiny things. I could do this. That would apply for really even pressure, right? Oh, but it's going to break the damn antenna. IRL, I'm in the store. I see those tiny little baby shoes, and I start doing these <laughs> Thank you for shouting out, Erilyn, Eric. We were talking about why babies aren't cute, and and yeah, you think babies are really cute. Hi, Eric. How is WoW going? How is your uh, uh, what's it called? Hardcore WoW going? Have you killed your tune yet? I like that clip. Okay. Eh, well, well, whatever. The glue is viscous enough it's not going to accidentally come out. E26. Uh, A, B, C, D. Okay, so it's one of the metal parts. 26. Ah! Come on now. I wish I could get a more expensive camera that wouldn't do that, but... Uh, I already have this camera that was already pretty expensive. You're on your third tune so far. Of the night or of like general since you started the hardcore however long ago? There we go. Now we're in. Yes. Yes. Okay, now C19. I get to glue a little flower to this. There are 12 C19s. Ah! Kind of stabbed myself. Three days. Okay, so that's total across the three days. So, died about once per day. That's... That's, uh, what's the word? Still fairly impressive. 
Okay, fine. I'll put the glue on. Now, which side do I want to go down? Does it matter? Not really. They're the same on both sides. Nope, nope, nope. You, you stay there. There we go. And you just sit there and set. Hey, I'm about to use the last two A parts. And I can throw that board away. Nope, sorry. Nope, there's one more A part. Okay. So these are the same, yeah? So it doesn't matter which one goes on which side. Don't, don't break anything, Robert. I know you're a clumsy mofo. Okay, yeah, the long end goes down. This would be so easy to break stuff. I'm like jinxing myself, I know it. Oreo, it is coming along nicely. This is one part of it, but this is the train. It's so cute. Ario and Duck keep accidentally burning the skin around your ankles with their leashes. And Ario just saw your ankle was hurt and sniffed it gently and gave you a little kiss. He's sweet even though he's a shit. Yes. He is sweet even though he's a shit. That is true. By the way, thank you whoever that was for gifting the sub to Splats app. Like an hour and a half ago. Okay, so I've got those in there. So now this whole unit is unit I. Okay. There are spare parts for E54. What was E54? I don't even see it on here. Okay, whatever. Uh, all right, so oh oh, it's the okay, it's the railroad ties basically. So E, E, E. These are all going to be E parts here. So E fifty four, bunch of them go on E twenty. Is this my E twenty? It is. Okay. Welcome back, Erlin. Duck is a sweet little shit, isn't he? Wait, I'm going to need a bunch out of this. Okay, set you aside. I suppose now I'm going to try to attach this branch to... Uh, there we go, here. Oh, jeez, don't let me break anything. You know what? You know what? You know what? We're going to pull this out of here. Attach them this way. That way there's way more leverage for me. And then put that in there. Yes. That is way better. That is a way easier way to do that. Okay. So now I need a whole bunch of these E54s. How many exactly? Nine. Okay, and they gave me extra. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So two. Oh, well, okay, they give me an extra. Four. Six. Oh. Oh, no, I didn't hurt anything. Okay. He is a rambunctious little scamp. That is perfectly accurate. Your boyfriend has a way with words. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, so they gave me twelve. Need nine. Okay. And then I also need E36 and 37. So 37 goes on the far side. Come on now. Come on out without breaking things. Here 
36. Okay. So 36, 37. 37 goes out on the far side. Okay. I'm going to need some more ease soon, but for now, let me get all these put in here. Okay, so these don't have to go in any particular order, thankfully. Just stick them in the holes nine times. Better than just sticking it in the hole two times or three times. I feel like all you guys are seeing of me is my forehead. You guys should totally at me when you see the counter start for when the camera is going to shut off. It's, I think, in the bottom left corner. 30 second timer for when the camera is going to close itself. Oh no! Oh no, the little flower came off the train. Ah, way too much glue again. Mm. Well, it'll stay this time, probably. This is definitely going to be a multiple stream thing. Oh, we're going to glue another little flower to the tracks here, which are... Go check the pics and content shop again. That's how long it takes to do. Let's glance. Okay, so that was 8.44. Now it's 9.30, so it's been 45 minutes. Yeah, it still just kind of looks like blobs. Okay, so I understand what you meant. And now you have to stop till at least tomorrow. Yeah, you gotta go to bed, don't you? Okay, got those. Okay. Oh, those don't actually, like... Oh, they do. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that one's a really, really fine little piece. Okay, got the rails together. Okay, now need E42 and 57 and 48. Okay. 48, 57, 42. Okay, so. Oh, crap. Okay. So this is 57. This is 48. So it goes together like this. And then 42 goes this way. And these both go this way. Now, there are four points here trying to go in at the same time. They ought to be lined up. They're all next to each other. Of course, they're not. There we go. Hey, did not break anything. How did that not break? Oh. You think this project is taking a long time, it will have to be multi-streams. Can you imagine if you only had that small progress for your shelf insert? Only have the train arm done? Train arm? Oh, this one? I mean, so? It does not matter how slowly you go, so long as you do not stop. 
Ой, сюда. Okay, I guess something attaches here from the bottom. For your whole stream? I don't know. The amount of progress I make on a stream is, you know, it's however much progress I make. And if people don't want to watch that amount of progress, then that's, you know, a them issue, not a me issue. Okay. Uh, C19. Who said that, though? It doesn't matter how slow you go, as long as you don't stop. Who said that? Or, I guess, wrote that? Flower. Okay. That one should stick fairly well. Got a little bit too much glue. Not nearly as much as the other one. A little bit too much. Let me rotate this through the glue. Okay. Oops. No, just just stay right there. There we go. And then the train. Okay, so we've got train goes here. Into these two holes. I feel like this is a spot where I can break some things. These pieces are really long sticking out of the bottom of this train. Understand why it needs separate things to why I did that. Funny you made that you were telling me about the whole thing took less than an hour and that had articulating arms and legs. I mean I understand it's frustrating to not be able to move as fast as you used to. I'm not trying to discount that, but you also don't want to discount what you're what you are capable of. that not as far as that's supposed to go in there okay okay come on now all the way through got like one millimeter left we're getting oh no. So we're going to have to sit here and hold the, whatever that's called. I don't know what that's called. This top edge here while the glue kind of sets a little bit. Um, you know what I found out yesterday that kind of makes me feel old, but also not? Steve Irwin was only 10 years older than I am now when he died. And he lived probably five times more than I ever will if I live to be a hundred because Steve Irwin. <laughs> yeah, but he was Steve Irwin. That's right. Yes. Yeah, Steve Irwin was only 44 when he died. Like one millimeter more. Dang it, this one millimeter. You can do it. I think that's as good as I'm gonna get out of that. I think I'm seeing that the painted edge has like folded up in on itself, so I think that's as good as we're gonna get there. This glue does not set very quickly. 
Yeah, there we go. He lived more in a week than the whole populace of Kansas does in a year. Yes, I did see that. I did see that. That alligator is going to outlive all of them. Okay, now the caution arm goes here. Right, and then the tree goes here. Are you supposed to go farther through? There we go. Okay. Okay, so this whole unit here is called Unit J in the uh, uh, manual here, in the instructions. I think that is going to be a good stopping point for now. Let me see what's next here. Yeah, because we're starting to assemble, I guess, the, the base. Okay, we're starting to assemble the bottom of the thing, but they gave me a little treat to start off. They gave you some progress, some visible progress, so that you don't get frustrated and quit, and I applaud that. That's impressive. There we go. So yeah, this is unit I, or J, and we will try this, try finishing this later. Maybe a midweek stream, who knows? Thursday, we need to look at the games coming up on Thursday, okay. I don't know what I'm going to do about all the small parts and keeping them away from the cats. Because they are 100% going to think these are all toys. <laughs> the little air conditioner. Okay, set that up here and hopefully that will deter the cats. Charlie primarily progress there's a reason you stopped building lego after getting two cats yes yes and i have three of them okay so coming up on thursday we've got cave story which is apparently oh it's unrated it looks pretty childish but it's unrated it might be one of those games that looks childish but really isn't what? Arguably the most well-known indie game of all time. Mm, I've never heard of it. Cave Story Plus features an original story brimming with personality, mystery, and fast-paced fun. Run, jump, shoot, fly, and explore your way through a massive adventure reminiscent of classic 8 and 16-bit games. There's no trailer. Okay. Okay. So it's an indie RPG adventure thing. Do you want to use the jellyfish juice? I'm curious to know what jellyfish juice does. A bunch of flying enemies, an elephant, I guess, a rocket. That's it, that's, that's all the description they give us. And then a bunch of screenshots and no trailer. Arguably the most well-known indie game of all time, but there's like no description or content, or not much description or playthrough, uh, play gameplay, trailer content. Okay, so that's what's coming up on Thursday. Where was I? Yep, yeah, that'll be it, so for now, uh, everybody, thank you for hanging out. Thank you again, whoever that was that Anon gifted the sub to Splatsap. I really appreciate that. Um, I will see everybody on Thursday. Let me get my keyboard back over here. And potentially, again, midweek, maybe in the middle of the day, because I'm going to get impatient about wanting to get this done, and I don't want it to take a month or more of streams. 
So um, we will get that finished later. Everybody have a great night. Stay safe, stay hydrated. Um, good luck with the beginning of your week. And don't do anything you don't want to explain to the paramedics, which is a lot less likely because it's the beginning of the week rather than the end of the week, rather than Friday. Eve. So have a good night. Peace out.